so that certain Aquaman starlet keeps producing fake proof on the stand time and time again. And the crazy thing about this is this could just as easily belong to that certain Aquaman starlet as it does to J.D. And in fact, when you look at it, well, there's certain things in the picture that kind of give that away. I mean, take, for example, the middle of the table, which you and I will return to in depth in just a moment. But what they want to tell you is that J.D., with all of that money and all of that customization, he's ingesting his products with, get this, a female hygiene product applicator. (laughs) Yeah, we'll talk about where that came from, by the way, too. Now, you and I, we're going to talk about all of that today, plus the fact that there are multiple pictures taken of this scene. Within some of those multiple pictures, there are certain items removed, specifically the item that supposedly ties JD to the scene in the first place, making you believe that maybe, just maybe, this wasn't something that was taken casually. Nah, this thing, it was taken with the express intent of putting together a narrative, which is crazy when you think about this. It goes all the way back to 2013. You and I, we're going to talk about that today. Crazy, crazy times, huh? Crazy times indeed. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And the fascinating thing about this picture right here is that it has been utilized not to prove that J.D., he has a substance use issue. If you wanted to do that, well, the man admits to it, just like the majority of Hollywood is admitted to that. But no, this picture, it is being utilized to prove a narrative. They're making inference from it, saying... Substance use, it equals the quote-unquote monster, as they're saying, and the quote-unquote monster, well, that equals another type of abuse. Not substances, but, well, human type. Now, when this picture is brought up, you're always told to look at this area right here. Why? Because there's a box sitting on the table. That box is emblazoned with the logo, property of JD. And the way that that certain Aquaman Starlet's defense presents this is, man, that's game over. This somehow, it proves everything that we're talking about. Now, here's the thing. When they're focusing you on that one portion, they don't want you asking any questions. They don't want you asking what else is on the table. They don't don't want you asking about the pedigree to this picture, and they certainly don't want you asking whether or not there are other versions of this picture, because for that last part, well, there definitely are. And when you look at this picture right here, what do you notice right off the bat? That's missing. That's right. You have the same picture taken, but it's at a different angle. You can see the leg of somebody setting down. That certain Aquaman starlet, by the way, said that they were the ones making this picture. And if you look here, well, again, the thing that they want you to focus on, boom, presto manifesto, that thing disappears. Huh. Now, another thing that they don't want you asking is where that box came from. Essentially, the pedigree to said box, because when you start asking questions about what it's for, yeah, it kind of disarms the entire narrative. See, there are pictures of this when it was made, and inside of that, well, notice this right here. This box was made to carry around a custom eyeball pendant. So, this It is a jewelry box. This wouldn't have been something that you would be carrying around custom made for that kind of thing. But again, you know, as far as the narrative is concerned, you need to set that aside. You need to suspend any kind of disbelief. You need to, again, you need to listen and believe. Now, further, if we actually do what they want, we return to this scene and we start examining it just the way they want us to. You know, looking at this area right here, you run into a problem with that certain Aquaman starlet. That problem is that there are multiple items that you can see while trying to focus on the box there, and those items, they don't belong to JD. Not at all. Now, as far as the card in the picture is concerned, well, you can track down what type of card it is by looking at the picture on the back. In fact, somebody did that for us. Check that out here. We actually have a DMV card, reverse side of all cards, it says in this instruction. It has Class A, so any vehicle or combination of vehicles except motorcycles. It has its endorsements, its restrictions. Again, you have the breakdown for it, telling you exactly 
exactly what type of card it is. Now, making this even more interesting is the fact that there's a signature on that. And when you start looking at the signature, what you find out is that this, it isn't a card that belongs to JD. No, not at all. In fact, when you start looking at it, it belongs to a certain Aquaman starlet. So as far as that scene is concerned, you have a box that is utilized as a prop, one that was given as a pin. I think it was given by that certain Aquaman starlet. You have their card on the table, one that is bearing their endorsement. So this, this is quite literally their card. Now, I'm sure that the defense for that certain Aquaman starlet would say something like, well, you know that card there, that card, yeah, he could have gotten it out. Anybody could have set that up. Okay, fair enough. The other item, though, in the picture, that blue item there that's used to ingest substances, if you don't know what that is, I wouldn't have known, by the way, we had that defined to us in UK 2020. The definition, by the way, it didn't come from JD. It came from that certain Aquaman starlet sister because she says one of the ways that she actually carries thing on the sly so you know she doesn't get caught ingesting substances is to use a tampon application. That's right. So you have a tampon applicator, a front and center right there beside that ID. The ID belongs to that certain Aquaman starlet. But again, you're supposed to say, "Uh uh-uh, you know that? That obviously it belongs to JD because that's something that a man would carry around, right? Yeah, (laughs) that doesn't work at all. Now, another thing worth pointing out is that two items in the picture have been seen with that certain Aquaman starlet, the bag that's there. There are pictures of her carrying it around. And as far as that cup is concerned, well, that cup is for a company that JD owns. And if you look right here in this video, you have that certain Aquaman starlet using the exact same type of cup to conceal a camera that they set up. Yeah, it's just as likely that those products, they actually belong to that certain Aquaman starlet as they do to JD. Now, along with that, you have two items that conveniently located that help you date this picture. One of them is a CD, which actually doesn't work in that certain Aquaman starlet's favor. And the other one, you see the newspaper back there? Yeah, the newspaper, you can actually read the headlines. So you can go back and you can date it. It. Again, color me skeptical, but that, like I said, it seems a little bit too convenient. Now, as far as the CD goes, the CD is there to link that certain Aquaman starlet to one of their supposed instances, that involving an instance where Keith Richards, he was supposed to be around that day. Well, here's an issue here. If you look at photographs from that time period, you actually have that certain Aquaman starlet front and center in those photographs. And as far as these pictures are concerned, they caught that certain Aquaman starlet off guard. She didn't know they existed in UK 2020 when she was asked about them, too. She said, yeah, you know, if you look at them, you can actually see evidence of a lip problem there. Her sister doubled down on that idea as well. Yeah, I'm going to encourage you to pause right here. Zoom in as far as you can on their face. Do you see anything there? (laughs) Exactly. The only two human beings that ever said that there was anything there are her and her sister. Huh. But yeah, when you look at all of this stuff, what does it exactly prove? Best case scenario, that JD, he had a substance use issue. Worst case scenario, it proves a certain Aquaman starlet tried to weaponize that, tried to make it look like something that doesn't work out for them. Doesn't look good for them when you look at it at all. But anyway, let me know what you think. And also, we have a link in our description. That's for our book. Check that out. That's our way of combating industry that allowed this nonsense to happen in the first place. Help us send a loud message with that. Also, thank you for being here. Thank you for participating. Appreciate that. With that, I'm going to end. Thank you.